Here's how you're going to download your pictures. First, get a USB cord from the blue basket at the back corner of the room and plug it into your camera while the camera is off. Please plug it in carefully so you don't damage the port. Then you can plug it into your computer and finally you can turn it turn your camera on. With your camera on, nothing's going to pop up. So you need to go to the start menu and go to computer. In computer, you will see D3100 digital camera, double click it. Then you'll see removable storage, double click it. Then you will see a folder called DCIM, double click it. Then you will see a folder that says 100 D3100, double click it. Okay, now you can finally see your pictures. Now what are we going to do with them? We're going to copy and paste them into a folder. We're going to right click right on your desktop and go to new folder. We're going to call this folder something that makes sense. For example, you might call it the name of today's assignment or you might call it today's date. Whatever you would like to call it. It is very important that we name our folders. If you have too many folders called new folder, it gets very confusing. So we're going to double click to open up that folder. And just to give yourself some room, I'm going to put it off to the side here and I'm going to drag this one to this side. This is my camera, DCIM. This is my folder on the desktop. I'm going to select all of my images from the camera. I only have one, but if I wanted to select all of them, if I had many, I would hold down Control A on the keyboard. Selects all. Now remember, you're only copying your pictures. Don't copy your partner's pictures. Those aren't yours. So if you want to just select pictures 1 through 15, for example, you could click on picture 1, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard, and click on picture 15. It will select all the pictures between 1 and 15, for example. With the pictures that you want copied selected, you're going to drag and drop them over to your folder with the name that you gave it. They're going to copy, and then you can delete them from your camera. However, students get in trouble sometimes because they delete before they're sure they're here. A good practice would be to double click on the folder on your desktop and make sure that that image is in fact there before you go and delete it off the camera. If you want to stay on the safe side, just close this up and delete the pictures on the camera itself. At this point, we want to turn off the camera, then unplug it from the computer and from the camera Put the USB cord away or pass it to somebody who needs one and you're going to return your camera to the TA. When you return the camera, you're going to make sure all pictures are deleted. You're going to turn the camera off. You're going to wrap the strap around the lens. And when you hand the camera to your TA or to your teacher, you're going to tell them what camera number it is. You are also going to check off your name on the list. Don't cross off your name, just put a check next to it and then you can take a seat.